Every region of the United States has its share of ghost stories and urban legends, but each of them pales in comparison to the most haunted places of the American South. Know before you go! Number 1. Myrtle's Plantation Several spectres walk the grounds of Myrtle's Plantation, perhaps attached to the grounds as a result of its time as a slave plantation in the 1790s. The most famous ghostly inhabitant was Chloe, who was first photographed in 1992. Number 2. The Grove Park Inn in the mid-1950s, staff began to complain of stomach aches while working in the vicinity of Room 545. Visitors started reporting seeing the ghostly visage of a woman dressed in pink. That's when the owners discovered that in the early 20s, a woman had fallen from a balcony to her accidental death. Number 3. Sloss Furnaces Sloss Furnaces was run by a man known as Slag, who reportedly forced his workers to constantly risk their lives. More than 47 people died until, in 1906, Slag slipped and fell into a vat of molten iron. Perhaps as a grim punishment, he now haunts the furnaces forever. Number 4. 1886 Crescent Hotel and Spa Norman Baker scammed dozens of patients with the claim that he had a miracle cure for cancer. Baker made thousands of dollars whilst torturing cancer patients. Today, the hotel is said to be the residence of several of Baker's tragic patients. Number 5. Chapel Hill Legend has it that one night a brakeman was thrown from the top of a train and decapitated on the tracks. On some nights, onlookers can see the brakeman's lantern light wandering up and down the tracks as he searches for his missing head. Number 6. Sturdivant Hall Banker John Parkman was arrested for embezzlement. The banker vowed he would never truly leave Sturdivant Hall until his name was cleared. But following a disastrous escape attempt, Parkman was gunned down and today his spirit has been seen wandering the halls. Number 7. Ryman Auditorium in the annals of country music history, few places hold as much power as Nashville's Ryman Auditorium. Reportedly, the builder's original owner, Thomas Ryman, is thought to haunt the theatre. Country legend Hank Williams Sr. has also been known to make appearances on the stage as well. Number 8. The Driscoll Hotel Home to at least two spirits, young Samantha Houston, who fell down the grand staircase, and the owner of the hotel, Colonel Jesse Driscoll, who lost everything in a game of poker. When he died penniless on the streets, his spirit remained to haunt the building. Number 9. Kennesaw House its time as a temporary hospital and morgue during the Civil War has left behind several restless spirits. The Kennesaw House has maintained a reputation for spooky occurrences for the last several decades. Number 10. Marshall House Marshall House served as a point of respite for victims of two yellow fever epidemics, as well as a hospital for Union soldiers. When the historic location was recently refurbished, guests reported the spirits of children running through the halls. Have you ever had a close encounter with a ghost? Let us know in the comments! <coughs>